I cannot wait for our special day. Saturday night, September 2023 is going to be a day on par early with the day our beautiful daughter Theo was born. I felt nervous with excitement around you. I felt giddy to see you. I would keep checking my phone to see if you had messaged and would smile with your hand. The best thing is, I still feel all those feelings now. You are the kindest, most gorgeous woman in my life and I could not bear the thought of ever losing you. We do not have a long time on this planet and we only have one life, but I can safely say, you have my life. I would like to spend the rest of my days by your side. I will have my grumpy days. I may well be sappy and I will be the source of stress for you. However, I will be your biggest support and your teammate on this journey. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, take care of you and be fully and truly yours. I promise to love you forever and to be there for our family no matter what. You are the best thing to ever happen to me. I love you forever and ever. Andrew. When I was young, just a boy, dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now here we are Ooh, I wanna grow old with you Ooh, making my dreams come true Georgie, I promise to be your husband in times of joy and in times of trouble, to provide for and support you in friendship, trust and love. <laughs> I promise to work with you to build our lives together. May our love bring us closer, to create a home filled with peace, happiness and love. Andrew, I promise to give you my love and friendship, to be there for you when you need me most, to laugh with you and to cry with you to confide in and trust you, to comfort and support you and all that I have I share with you. I promise to respect you and to be faithful always. These promises I make to you for <laughs> the rest of my life. Georgie, I give you this ring. In celebration. In celebration of my love for you. And as a pledge to respect you. To grow with you. For the whole of my life. Here I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love and affection, and in recognition of our shared life together. Wear it with a feeling of love and joy. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. This day and every day. This day and every day. And As much as it's one of the, the happiest days of my life, it's obviously an event that, another sad event that like my dad's missed. Um, so it, it's not easy in that sense, but it's it's very much helped by the fact that I've, I've got you, Tony. I wanted to give you a mention. Um, you took on me and my brother when I was seven or eight years old. You, you took me on, you got my brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you've raised three kids, like they'd all grown up and you took me and my brother on and I probably didn't realise at the time just how much you did for me and me and John and I know I probably pushed the buttons sometimes when I was a teenager growing up and mum staged an intervention where I had to get the local neighbourhood police officer to come and give me a talking to. I don't know I don't know what I'd done to like really get that bad, but you know, you, you kept me on the straight and narrow, I'm not in prison, I'm here today. Um, 
and yeah, I, I, can't, I can't thank you enough. I couldn't have asked for a better role model than you, Tony. Um, you've been a great husband to my mum and you've been an amazing dad to me, so I just want to say a personal thank you to you for everything you've done for me over the years. All right. Now, I know George. Yes, uh-oh. <laughs> well done to you. Andrew actually approached her. And you saw everything just come down a notch. And I'm like, and everything come down a notch again. And I thought, he's the one. He is the one. He's the George Whisperer. <laughs> Georgie, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. I can see how incredibly happy you made my old friend over these last couple of years and just how much you've helped to change his life for the better. To the new Mr. and Mrs. Wilden. Cheers. I was fake sleeping in your backseat. You were singing badly. We both know you had me. We were shifting seasons, taking back roads Where did all the time go? Lost in the crescendo You're the loudest <laughs> thing in my head It's good, it's good. And I'd fall 